everyone, I'm Joey with Joey's Balloon Company. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a one balloon elephant as well as a three balloon elephant. You're going to need either one 260 balloon or three 260 balloons and your handy dandy balloon pump. There's a link in the description where you can find these balloon supplies. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps our channel and it helps others find this information as well. The first elephant we're going to work on is the one balloon elephant. Inflate it until it has about a seven finger length tail on the end of it. It's quite a long tail, but there's a lot of twists for this animal. Using your ninja skills, go ahead and tie the balloon balloon off. And here we go. First we're going to put a couple bins in the elephant's trunk to give it a nice S shape. Bend about one inch of the top of your balloon, pinch the bend and twist it and then let go. Do this a couple times. Nice. This is a pretty good bend in the balloon. Now we're going to do the same thing the opposite direction a few inches down from this one. You can even do both of these at the same time. Now that's a pretty good starting point for an elephant trunk. Now make a twist in the balloon so that your elephant trunk looks the same upside down and right side up. I'm basically just saying don't twist it like right here on this bend and don't twist it like way over here. Just make it look pretty symmetrical. Make your loop about two to three inches high. Put a little pressure on the end of your loop that's not already twisted and then go ahead and twist the loop and these twists will hook in with each other. Now we're going to make an identical loop the same size as this using the same method we just used. Fold your balloon down so that you have two to three inches of loop here. Put pressure on the side of your loop that is not already twisted and then go ahead and twist your loop and it will hook in with that twist. These look like little chihuahua ears right now. We're going to fix those in a little bit. If you have quite a bit of tail left like I do, go ahead and squeeze the balloon a little bit to push some of it toward the end. Now you're gonna make two one inch bubbles that are going to be the feet. Once you've made your first leg, you're gonna fold the balloon up and make your other leg by putting pressure on your untwisted balloon and linking it in with this twist in here. If you get confused on what to twist, just twist whatever you're working on. In our case, we're working on the two front legs, so when I put pressure on this point right here, I'm gonna twist the two front legs. Now this looks like some sort of butterfly on a stick. We need to rearrange that. I'm gonna orient it so that I have two ears and my legs separating the trunk and the rest of the body. Now we're gonna create the two back legs. Make a twist about an inch long that's going to be the length of the body. Now we're gonna make another twist at the bottom here for one of the legs. And now we're gonna fold this back up to make the second leg. We're gonna put pressure on the leg that's coming up and twist the back legs. I wanna leave a little bit of air in the end of this so this tail sticks up. Nice, now we just gotta fix the ears. We don't really want them to be pointy because elephants have big, wide, drooping ears. So we're just gonna spread out this loop and push the point down into where the twist is. Nice. Now we're going to do the other side. I'm going to spread it out, squeeze where I'm holding the balloon, as well as push the top of the balloon towards the twist. Now you just go draw a face on it because people like it better if it looks cuter. Draw a big smile. And there you have it. There's your one balloon elephant. If you think you're a pro and you can handle the three balloon elephant, here we go. Let's get started. Don't forget to like this video. It really helps our channel and it helps others find this information as well. You're going to need three of the same color balloon and your handy dandy balloon pump. The first balloon we inflate is going to be the ears and can be inflated almost to the very end. Leave about a two finger length tail on the end of it. Tie it off. Now we're going to squeeze the balloon so all of the air is dispersed evenly. That means we're going to inflate this little piece at the end here. Now we're going to push it back down a little bit just to get a little nub on here and we're going to tie these two ends together. Elephants have two ears so we're going to make this into two separate loops by finding the center of it and then pushing both ends together and twist the top part. This should give you two pretty evenly sized loops that we're going to use for the elephant's ears. Set this to the side for a second, we're going to pick it up in just a minute. Your next balloon is going to be the trunk, the head, and the front legs of your elephant. Inflate it so you have about four to five finger lengths tail and then tie it off. 
Next, you're gonna shape the trunk of your balloon elephant. We're gonna put two bends in it to make it look like an S. The first bend we're gonna make is about an inch into the balloon. So we're gonna bend it in half on itself like this. And then we're gonna pinch this bend and twist it. And that's gonna help this bend stay. When you let go, you should have a bend in your balloon. We're gonna do the same thing a couple inches down from this one in the opposite direction. You can round out these bends by rubbing the two adjacent sides together like this. Next, we're gonna make our first twist in our balloon about an inch from our second bend. Remember, if you only make a single twist to a balloon, it will come undone if you let go of one side. So as we're holding this twist, we're gonna make another twist about three or four inches down, and these are gonna be the eyes of the elephant. That's one eye. Now we're gonna fold the balloon back on itself. Instead of making another twist here and then attaching it to this bottom twist, we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure right here, twist the eyes together, and these twists will stay by themselves. There we have the eyes. If you're running out of room like I am, you can always put pressure on the rest of your balloon that you have left. This softens the balloon and helps prevent it from popping, as well as gives you a little bit more balloon to work with. I'm gonna stretch this balloon out and pull it over the eyes and attach it again down here at this twist. Perfect, that's gonna be your elephant head. What we need to do is put these ears right here behind the elephant's head, and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna put it right between the back of the eyes and the back of this balloon holding the eyes together. The easiest way to do this is to take this loop off of the eyes first, slide the ears through, and then put the head back over the eyes, just like this. Next, we're gonna move our eyes back up into the head and make sure that the ears are behind the eyes. You can use one hand to expand the head and the other hand to move the eyes in. You can even grab the eyes with the other hand and pull through if it's easier. There we go, we have an elephant head. We're gonna reshape these ears at the end so they look a little bit better. Next, blow up your last balloon and blow it up to about four to five finger lengths tail and we are going to attach this to the head. Tie it off. By the way, this is the hardest part of balloon twisting, tying this little thing right here. If you're good at it, great for you. If not, don't worry, it comes easier with time. Just keep practicing. The easiest way to attach these two balloons is to attach this nozzle into this twist right here. All that means is just taking the nozzle and wrapping it around a bunch of different balloons four to five times until it stays. When I'm finished wrapping it around, I'm just gonna stick the nozzle in between the head and the eyes. That way I can't see it and it looks a little bit better. We've got a lot going on, so as you're twisting, just make sure to keep readjusting it to remember where you're at. The next step in this process is making the front two legs, and we're gonna do that with this newly added balloon. Making the two front legs is pretty easy. Make a section that's about four inches long by making a twist in this balloon, fold the balloon against itself, and then reattach it where the neck would be. An easy way to twist this balloon into the neck is just by putting pressure right here. If you don't like doing that, you can always make another twist right there and make it a little bit easier for yourself. But to save time, I usually just put pressure right here and twist the feet. I try to put pressure as close to the knot as possible to prevent the balloons from rubbing against each other, which causes friction and could cause the balloons to rupture. Now we're gonna take these two stray balloons and push them towards the back of our balloon animal. Now you can kind of see the head, the ears, and the front legs. Now we just need to build the back of the balloon animal. Using your longer balloon, twist the section about six inches long or however long you want the body of your balloon elephant to be. So after you've made the twist for the body and you're continuing to hold the balloon, we are now going to make the back legs. And we're gonna do that using the same method we used for the front legs, which is twist a section about four inches long, fold the balloon back onto itself, and twist it into your original knot.
Now that looks like a pretty skinny balloon elephant to me, so we're going to use our extra balloons to go back and forth along this body, twisting it into the neck and also the tail here to make its body a little bit more full. You're going to end up with four or five balloons going back and forth for the body. First use the balloon that's attached to the neck to bring it to the tail. If you try it with the tail one first, there's a chance that your back legs will come undone. I twisted this balloon into the tail here and I left about a one inch section here for the tail. Now we're going to take our balloon that's attached to the back legs and bring it to the front and then the back. Again, I think the easiest way of twisting the balloons into the knots are just to put a little bit of pressure on them and then twist the knot again. Now we're going to take whatever we have left, wrap it around where the tail is, and then hide the rest of the nozzle within the elephant body. We kind of have a jumbled mess at this point, but this is essentially the finished elephant. <laughs> but just because you're done balloon twisting doesn't mean that you're done making the balloon animal. You still have to orient the parts of this so it is recognizable as a balloon animal. I'm going to point these back legs down like the front legs so they're matched up. I'm going to turn the head around to the front. I'm going to make sure the trunk is sitting in between my front two legs. Another thing you can do if it looks like your elephant is leaping through the air and the legs are spread out quite a bit, you can take part of this bottom balloon down here that we'll call the elephant's stomach and you can stick part of it through the back legs. That will help the legs point down instead of backwards and out. So I've pushed it through and I'm holding it right here just by a pinch. I'm going to pull it relatively tight and then let go and hopefully it stays. There we go. You can also do this to the front legs. I think it makes it look a little bit better. Now all you need to do is round out the ears and give it a face with a Sharpie and you're good to go. And there you have it, a three balloon elephant. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for some more balloon twisting tutorials. If you think you've got what it takes to work with us as a balloon twister or a balloon decorator in the United States or Canada, visit our website for more details. See you next time.